The drugs with similar appearance as in their packaging having different indications or same indications with different strengths are called look-alike drugs. The drugs which have completely different indications and they sound somewhat similar are called as sound-alike medications. The objectives of the session being to know how actually Lhasa is defined. Examples of Lhasa factors contributing Lhasa error and thus the strategies to prevent such errors. After the session one will be able to identify Lhasa drugs by checking through the list provided, finding out various factors which lead to error while handling Lhasa drugs, knowledge of common errors and thus avoiding errors during the practice. In this case review, the errors occurred because of difficulty in differentiating sound-alike and look-alike drugs. Instead of giving injection 25% dextrose, nurse administered injection 50% dextrose which are look-alike and sound-alike to each other. The right column shows 25% of injection dextrose prescribed by doctor while left column shows 50% of injection dextrose administered and was written by the nurse. Look alike, sound alike or Lhasa medications involve medications that are visually similar in physical appearance or packaging and names of medications that have spelling similarities and or similar phonetics. Such agents carry a significant risk of being administered improperly, especially when exchanged for one another. One-fourth of the medication errors have been reported while mistaking Lhasa drugs. These drugs are thus categorized under high-risk medications. Various factors that can cause errors while dispensing Lhasa drugs are unreadable or scribbling writing in the prescription by the physician and lead to administration of unintended medication which look alike or sound alike with the intended one. Two or more than two drugs whose product packages are similar can be mistaken while dispensing. Inadequate knowledge when there is confusion that if the correct medication is being prescribed but is looking alike or sounding alike with other medication which is having a total different indication. New drugs in the market which are sounding same as pre-existing drugs or whose packaging is similar to the one which is already in use. Here Rantac or Ranitidine is so much ineligible such that other sound alike medications might be dispensed. Also Serenase or Haloperidol was written ineligibly such that another sound alike drug Serenanac or Diclofenac can be mistakenly administered. In such case dose of the drug should be considered. As we can see in the slide, the left diagram illustrates two packages of look-alike medication which are intended to be used for the same specific condition, but their strengths are different. So in such case, one should properly verify the strength of the medication. Similarly, the right diagram illustrates two differently indicated drugs with the same strengths and their packaging being similar. These drugs are meant to be stored in separate shelves to avoid Lhasa error. These diagrams, both in left and right, contain drugs having similar packaging as well as appearance, while they are totally different in all aspects, that is, name, indication and strength. Frequency of administration, as shown, is illegible, which can lead to error. In such case, it should be referred back to the physician. The previously mentioned errors need to be sorted out through various strategies. Procurement can be done as Minimizing availability of multiple strength can be considered as an important strategy. If limited strength medication is available, there will be no confusion while dispensing the drugs. And in therapy, the desired high dose of a drug can be achieved by adding up two small doses. 
avoiding order of similar packaging or appearing medicines, and those medications which have similar packaging should be checked if their brand or company or manufacturer is same as the packaging of two different drugs is similar. If their manufacturer is same, in such case, the drug's manufacturer should be different. Clarification with the prescriber for unsure or doubtful drugs, like indication of drugs not matching with the disease, dose not being written clearly, etc. Notifying fellow pharmacists for proper separation of Lhasa medications, if they are seen, kept in the same or nearby shelves to avoid confusion. Prompt of Lhasa warning is an important factor in the pharmacy system. This is accomplished by acquiring a technical system that automatically updates and differentiates Lhasa drugs. Alert box of Lhasa warning should be prompted whenever a code for the particular drug is entered into the system. This system successfully will help in distinguishing the Lhasa drug and avoiding the errors and confusion due to the same. While sorting, tall man lettering should be considered in case of Lhasa drugs, in which one part of both the drugs is written in uppercase letters which is dissimilar, thus avoiding medications errors as prompted by ISMP US FDA. The tall man lettering of Lhasa drugs needed to be printed out in the shelves of the particular drugs one for one shelf or can be displayed in the notice board where all the nurses can take a look and can concentrate on the same. For sound alike medications where tall man lettering is not applicable, proprietary or brand or trademarked names may be added to distinguish between the medications. Before performing triangle check, read medications labels carefully at all dispensing stages. Triangle check is performed to check actual medicines against the medicine's labels and against the prescription. Identify medicines based on its name strength and not by its appearance or location. While monitoring, it is needed to identify Lhasa medications by each and every pharmacist involved in dispensing high-risk drugs by checking the list of drugs provided by their respective organization. Reviewing and updating the Lhasa list occasionally can verify the new medications in the market which are looking alike or sounding alike with existing drugs. The Lhasa list needs to be reviewed and updated periodically at least once a year. Hospital formulary list should be checked. Lhasa drugs information has to be displayed in notice board. All the staffs are updated on new medications listed as Lhasa in the hospital or clinic. Patient education plays a vital role in minimizing errors due to Lhasa, so the following ways can be instructed. Encouraging patient to knowing their names of medications. Informing patients on change in appearance of the medications which avoid administration of wrong drug which did create confusion to the patient. Patients shall be educated to aware their healthcare providers, which include physician, pharmacist or nurses, to inform any medication appearance has varied from what was usually administered. Patient or their representative should at least be encouraged to learn the names of their medications. Lhasa contribute in quarter portion of all medication errors. Factors like illegible handwriting, products with similar packaging, frequency of administration, incomplete knowledge of drug names, newly available products, etc. lead to errors due to Lhasa. Thus, the factors are procurement, storage, administration, monitoring, patient education and evaluation, reduce the errors due to Lhasa and finally recheck the drug before administration. We acknowledge Rajiv Gandhi University of Health Sciences for their continuous support. Thank you.